Hi everyone, Jake Drager from Ingram Micro's Enterprise Business Unit. Thanks for joining me today for episode two of the Quarantine TAM Tapes. Today we'll discuss how we can help you help your customers optimize their licensing environments. As we all know, COVID-19 is here and has resulted in quite an economic downturn, which has caused a lot of organizations to implement cost optimization measures in order to free up capital and ultimately continue to execute on business initiatives. Uh, and as we also know, licensing estates that they have established have been built over time around expanding infrastructure footprints and responding to business and application needs. Uh, and that oftentimes results in redundant, stranded, and unused licensing assets. And amidst the everyday struggle of business operations and that expanding infrastructure footprint, it can be difficult for organizations to deploy these licenses in an efficient and effective manner, which oftentimes results in CapEx and OpEx bloat. And organizations use CMDBs to track the relationships between the infrastructure, licensing, and the business itself, but it's often difficult for them to actually effectively maintain those. Now, as you know, TAM provides us the capability to peer into organizations' IT environments and discover hardware, software, and services assets. And by leveraging TAM to gain that visibility, we're actually going to be able to help you target specific publisher environments and draw up a licensing optimization strategy. So let's take a look at actually how we can help you do that. Today I'm joined by Matt Brown, Enterprise Architect at CloudLogic. So Matt, please uh, tell us a little bit more about CloudLogic and how your licensing optimization assessment can help drive uh, meaningful, meaningful savings uh, for clients. Thanks, Jake. We'll be glad to. Uh, so first off, CloudLogic was formed by uh, principals from a top 50 VAR who ran the consulting business there. Uh, the team has been recognized by Gartner for their innovation and expertise in migration since 2001, as well as received Forbes awards as being one of the best management consulting firms for multiple years. At CloudLogic, we focus on four core offerings, um, enablement, placement, migration and transformation, and portfolio optimization. Portfolio optimization is what actually directly addresses the needs you've identified today, helping clients unlock savings opportunities to help their business in these difficult times. Matt, you're absolutely right. And as I mentioned earlier, organizations are scrambling to find ways to cut costs and ultimately conserve cash. Uh, and we've found a tremendous amount of success so far this year in helping organizations do this by uh, just that optimizing their licensing environments. So can you walk the listeners through a little bit more about those challenges that organizations face and uh, and then how Cloud Logic and Ingram can help address these challenges? Yeah, absolutely, Jake, you're, you're spot on. Um, the challenge is that most clients don't know where to start um, to go find savings. And software licensing is actually a gold mine to find these. Uh, here's a perfect example of a recent financial services client that we had where we, we were able to average 33% savings across seven publishers, which accumulated over $3 million of savings without impacting any of their clients, any of their day-to-day -day operations, or any end-user functionality. Unfortunately, we, see that, um, we tend to see that most software licensing is not something that is actively managed in most environments. And even in those uh, environments where they do actively manage software licensing, uh, without an accurate inventory that also incorporates usage statistics, you're only as good as the data that you have. So our process actually starts um, with getting that inventory, getting an accurate inventory with usage and providing it to the client so that they can update their system of record. We utilize this information along with the actual software license agreements to discover under allocated assets, over allocated assets, which actually might be an audit threat, outdated contract terms, such as like bundled packages that may no, no longer be a bargain, their new license programs that are a better fit, and potentially duplicated functionality across publishers. We've worked in, with client environments um, where we've actually helped them save over 65% on, on individual uh, of their budget on individual publishers. Matt, that's, those are some pretty incredible results there. Uh, I think that speaks for itself. Can you uh, talk a little bit more about what that engagement process typically looks like? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it actually first starts with the TAM engagement that you mentioned earlier. Um, it gives us great insights and to, to be able to identify key target clients that could benefit, uh, to get, could uh, get the best results from uh, from this type of program. Um, and from there, you work with your Ingram Micro and CloudLogic teams to design the play for the account. 
Thanks, Matt. Really appreciate the time today. Um, I think this was really insightful for the audience today to be able to listen to and be exposed to as it's really relevant in the market today. And uh, we're doing our best to share our successes with our partners and ultimately enable them to, uh, to, to do the same with their customers. Uh, so thanks everyone for tuning in to uh, episode two of the Quarantine TAM Tapes uh, with Matt Brown of CloudLogic and myself, Jake Drager of Ingram Micro. Uh, looking forward to speaking to you all in episode three and uh, reading some digital tea leaves. Take care.